Hey everybody, welcome back to Frostpunk. So we just got our scouts out into the world. They are heading to get the Lost Expedition and rescue some survivors. That's fantastic. Discontent is rising slightly, and I think one of our next plans here, which we alluded to at the end of the last video, was to get into a way to kind of manage that. Uh, I think I'm going to unlock the fighting arena so that people can fight each other at night for some stress relief. I mean, let's throw the kids in there. Let's let's really get the stress relieved, you know? I think that's reasonable. Another thing I need to consider is um, my hunter's huts. This, this one specifically is not very good because everybody's in treatment. But, I mean, there's only so much that I can really do here. You know, it is nighttime. Let's let's hit the overdrive again. Try to contain the sickness a little bit. Drops that discontentness a tad. So happy about that. And Book of Laws. Okay. So we've got radical treatment. We got overcrowding. We got soup. We got child labor. We got emergency shifts. This is great. Let's go fighting arenas. And then uh, we can place those in our residential areas. We need uh, 15 wood. Now... The other research that we're doing is sawmills because we only have two wooden crate piles left. Something to keep our eye out for. Resource shortage. We're getting short on resources. Our needs are great and growing by the hour. We could sign the extended shift law, but as you saw, I just signed something else. So that's not going to happen, buddy. That's not going to happen. Now, uh, could I just create more scout teams? Getting a couple scout teams going would be sweet, but uh, we need a lot of wood for that. So that's a little bit out of the picture for now. So the beacon here talks about the scouts, but I already went and did that. So nothing to worry about too much there. And let's just power through the nighttime. Get some raw food back from our hunters, albeit at slightly less efficiency. It'll be okay, I think. Let's turn off the overdrive early morning here. The scouts have reached it. Okay. Okay. So we're going to explore. It looks like we might find survivors, and I think it's scripted to find them. So yeah, happy reunion. We enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We'd been wandering for days until we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we'd begin to starve. Children and adults surround us, packed up and ready to go, and then we discovered some new sights as well. So we can do a couple things here. There's four children, nine engineers, 22 workers. We could say, yep, we'll bring them back to the city, or we can send them themselves. Some of them may die, and it will take longer. Listen, I, I don't know what the right approach is here. I feel like if I'm going to go out and find people, and then I have to escort them back, it's taking me. it'll take me so long to hit all these spots. And let's face it, people are going to die anyways, whether they're in our camp or somewhere else. I'm just going to say send them to the city, and we will continue onwards checking out other things. So we have a gloomy cave here. I think we saw a faint wisp of smoke coming from it, but it's gone now. So maybe people, maybe supplies, shelter. How far is this away? 11 hours versus 14 versus 23. Let's hit the gloomy cave and see what happens. Okay, so now we have a group coming back. Some of them may not make it, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. And we we'll, should have food arriving soon. What are these hours again for the huts? 6 a.m. Yeah, okay. So we've got a little bit of food there. It's all good. And now we'll get some uh, we'll get some wood gathered because people are going to work. I wonder if yeah, I'm tempted to send. We just depleted that crate of wood. Uh, yeah, I'm tempted to send people here, but I just have a feeling they're gonna get sick, right? Because if they work in here, it's at least moderate risk. But if they're here, like, high risk of falling ill and then possibly gravely ill. And I think because we're at 17 people sick right now, yeah, maybe we just don't do that. This requires raw food. That's fine. You can see we've converted that already. Is that all the food that we brought in? Like, that is not enough. When we get these people in, maybe we build a couple more hunter huts and just get that going. I think that's maybe a decent plan. Discontent just rose significantly. People are hungry. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I do need how much wood for the fighting arena? 15, so we're close. So 
The way I understand this is that circle that is around it and everything that's being highlighted there shows what this is going to impact. So I can get the furthest one on the left. And then uh, if I go here, I get the one on the right. But that also permits me to build more around it and benefit from the arena that way. So I, I assume you need to build multiple of these over time. But we'll put one here. Let's build a road like this. Uh, I can't because I have no wood. Sag. Eterius. No. Not quite. <laughs> Holy moly! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. That looks like a lot more people than were on the list. Am I wrong? It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We'll look for the others. Okay, so we are building a fighting arena. We now have a surplus of people. And we're at the Gloomy Cave, too. I didn't even notice that. So, exploration. Let's see if there's anything in here I need to know. You explore the site. Fine. Scouts will often need your decision on how to deal with what they find. Okay. Possible survivors here in the cave. We can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn toward us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and these beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them. Oh, damn. Leave the bears alone, everyone dies, or risk fighting them. Yo, this is... this is... ballsy. I'm gonna fight. <laughs> we had to help. When our scouts attacked the bears, people in the cave joined them, and together they drove the beasts away. They all set out towards our city. Okay, hello. It's a grisly scene, bloody chunks of flesh and bone strewn about. You can hear the terrified shrieks. Yo, cool. Okay. So now, now what? Can I go somewhere else? Or are they with me? Do I have to bring them back? Oh, they're escorting survive. Okay, yeah. So I don't even have a choice there. We have to escort them back. All right. We have a, we have a food situation. It's really bad. So I'm going to send some of these new workers out here. It's going to be cold. I understand that. But we... Oh, actually, we just finished that research. Okay, so we did finish the research. I need 10 wood and I can get a sawmill going. And yeah, it is absolutely necessary. Maybe we head out in this direction. It's absolutely necessary for us to do that. So before I even select a research, our people found a trail leading to the wilderness. We must follow it. We must find other people and ask them to help to secure our survival. Okay, so we just got, oh man, we just got overloaded with so many people. Fighting arena has been established. Hope rises. That should help reduce some discontent. 60 people living near the fighting arena. Okay, good. And we're pounding the wood here. Extra hard. But it's nighttime now. Let's overdrive this. People are sick. Unfortunate. People are hungry. Also unfortunate. The hospital is absolutely maxed right now um, very low risk of getting ill there if I turn on the heater inside there we can keep this place extra toasty uh, the arena I don't need to do anything this place low risk of falling ill the cookhouse is fine it's got uh, it's inside the first zone these tents outside they're they're cold they are cold so I would like to maybe get into Steam Hub next. Maybe? We'll have to see. Okay, people are back. You can disband the scouts or send them into the Frostland. I'm a little concerned that we just took in a ton of people. A ton. So we could go out here and find another settlement, but I, for the same reason, I don't think I want to. I'm going to go to the observatory first and just see if we can get things under control at home. Every day is the same grind. We got to keep going. That's the right attitude. Yep. We do need to keep going. Absolutely. Positively. 
Okay, sawmill. So we're going to build this out here to hit as much, as much of these trees, or as many of these trees, as possible. You can destroy resources, it seems, so let's be cautious there. I need six wood for that. That's the shortest one I can make. But let's get it going. Because this is going to be depleted, like, maybe today. Now, with the wood that's coming in currently, we're going to get some more research going. And I need a, a, a law. What should we do? Maybe... Oh, jeez. Okay. We also are going to need to build more housing. So maybe I'll go the steam hubs here. With the current steel, I could build four. It looks like they cost 20. Book of Laws here. So, some of these, like, dueling laws, discontent will be reduced permanently. Each spontaneous duel will slightly reduce discontent. But sometimes people will die in a duel. Wow. Public house. Even in the harsh new world, people need to raise their spirits after work in good company with a stiff drink in hand. Uh, you'll have to build a public house. Hope will rise. People of the public house are less discontented. Uh, that seems like a pretty good balance. Have we not? We haven't had anybody die yet. So I haven't really gone into cemetery or corpse disposal yet, but I can see some further options there, which are interesting. Man, maybe I just do extended shift stuff for now. So we can make the workday 14 hours. And we don't have to do that everywhere, right? But, like, places like the factory for research, I think, is pretty good. So we can put them there from uh, 6 a.m. till 8 p.m. Ooh, I gotta turn off my freaking overdrive. Whoops. That was a... That was bad. That was bad. Okay. Now I got workers there. Area effects. Yes. Okay. So we saw that. Understandable. Understandable. I do need to get another medical post going for sure. And I have the engineers to handle it. So we better do it ASAP. And we'll build it in this same area. Man, I don't love that I don't have these things like perfectly on grid right now. I could I could fix that if I really want to. Let's do that. And actually, oh no, this is fine. I don't even know if I need a road out there, to be fair. Let's do that. Then I can build another medical post right behind this one. And how's my coal deposits going? So one is gone. Um, we have this place for wood. That's great. We have another coal pile there at least. Again, I could send people out. I'm just a little bit hesitant. If we can manage it without that, I think that would be good. We do have a surplus here, so that's pretty nice. Oh, this is cool. You can see in here, like, what's powered and what's not. With the uh, heaters, I suppose. Neat. Okay. So let's run this. Oh, expeditions are disabled because of that road. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. But they're back. So you don't lose the progress, maybe? You just can't do anything with it? <laughs> Going back out. See ya! Alright. We actually are down to one sick. Zero gravely, currently. And then again, this will be another place for the engineers to work. I almost think maybe I go another workshop, too, because I have so many engineers. Let's do this. We'll turn that heater on. Maybe tonight I don't do the overdrive, just because things are getting a little spicy. What's happening here? Oh, yeah. Okay, the gathering post. Sorry, I thought that was the other thing. We're going to dismantle this now. And... You know what? We're going to build another one out here. Yeah. I like that. I like that. What I'll do is I'll get my streets go... What? Nope. We'll get our streets going first. So we can have some a semblance of organization. 
And then let's do a gathering post here. Love it. Okay. So, uh, food, food, food. I need, I need more food, big time. So let's get that going. The only thing I can do here is Hunter's Huts, unfortunately. We'll do one like that. If I were to build another one, I'd have to maybe bring these streets in. So I'll maybe do a connection there, and then I can dismantle these. Let's not have them build at night. And let me dismantle this street that I currently selected. And I'm going to pause this as well. We'll let them do this street, I guess. Because we're already out there. People are hungry. Listen, I know. Holy smokes. I uh, Do I ever know it? So we can say we feed them. Three days to feed everyone. Let them feed and stockpile some food. So feed everyone and stockpile 72 rations. Or I won't address this right now. And discontent will rise. <laughs> Three days. Oh, God. That's a lot. I'm going to see what I can do. Uh, that's a lot. We are working on it. Okay. I'm doing my best. Okay. Scouts are at the observatory. Survivors. Okay. Explore. The sun is dimming. Instead of astronomers, we are met by some of our lost people. They explained that they came here for help but found everyone dead. The astronomers continued their observations until they starved. What was so important to them? They wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. And we discovered a crash site. Escort, send, or leave them to their fate. I mean, we'll send them, I guess. I'm a little bit worried about taking on this many people, but I'm, I feel bad. Let's go crash site now. Wrecked vehicles, no signs of life. They are probably our machines. Let's hope so. We had to leave a number of supplies in them after the crash. Okay, supplies. Let's go. Love that. Love that. Love that. Okay. Everybody get inside. I'm not doing the overdrive tonight. We can have up to what? Um, 10 sick per little medical post, so it's actually okay. It's okay. Now we got to get our food game on big time. Okay, let's unpause these. Scouts are at the crash site. Oh, man, they're quick. Raw food and wood. Oh my god, we need both of those things. Fate of the Forgotten. There are plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks, we found the bodies. They're tangled together in a single frozen mass as if these people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. 47 food, 142 trees though. That's sick. And uh, no other sites out here. So actually, let's come home and then we'll go out to the sturdy shelter, I suppose. Okay. Um, I'm going to get another hunter's hut going. If I do one here, then I could stack one there as well. But I wonder if it's better for me... To kind of keep them, like really far out like we originally were talking about. That used up a bit of wood that I needed. Okay, Steam Hub is researched. Let's go there. Twenty more wood. It, I, this might be overkill. I have no idea, but like, we have so many citizens that they can just all be hunters. <laughs> right? And we have more coming. So... I think it's fine. This place we can dismantle now. And we can dismantle this street. And then we got coal up and running over here. Send the kids out. And you know what? Um, let's run the heaters at the gathering post. And the sawmill. Because it's 
It's out there, you know. It's out there. And then workers there. I have a lot of engineers. Maybe another factory. Let's see tech-wise here. Let's go hunter gear now. It's going to take 10 wood. And a workshop is 15 wood, 5 steel. Let's stack another one here. I got four workers there. Where else do I have workers? So I can move them out of here. Oh, actually, kids can't work in the sawmill. But I have a bunch of engineers currently, so let's do that. We'll max this out. And then... Where else? That's it, eh? Like, all of our workers are hunting or cooking. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I suppose let's drop this and we'll put an engineer in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Man. Two days left to feed everybody. 17 out of 54 have been fed. But look, these next two nights, we're going to bring in so much extra food. We're researching getting um, more efficient with that, too. So I think that's fine. Let's look at the Book of Laws here and consider what we want to do next. We did the extended shift. House. Gravely ill and amputees will be cared for at low cost in special homes. Gravely ill and amputees. The thing is, we only have... We have actually none, guys. So, I don't think I need to do that. What's triage? Uh, we can dedicate our efforts to healing those who can recover quickly at the cost of sacrificing the more severely ill. So, oh wow. You can use triage in a medical facility. So this becomes an ability. To instantly heal half the patients, but a quarter will die instantly. <laughs> Yikes. That's maybe a good option, but... Maybe just the public house here, because discontent. And we'll have to build a public house. Again, I don't think that's a bad thing. 20 wood, 10 steel. Okay. I think I'm going to run the sawmill... A little bit longer as well no roof over our heads okay yes so we have do have a hundred homeless currently I could build oh man two days 48 people that's five houses I think it's doable I don't think I could get it for everybody I'll, I'll try to get I'll try to get it for some but I, I'm stretching myself thin here I am absolutely stretching myself thin. You can only have one public house in the city. Okay, good to know. Nice. Okay, so they're back with food and a whole bunch of wood. That's, yeah, perfect. Okay. Sturdy shelter. I guess we go there now. I was thinking about getting an extra pair or an extra set of scouts, but maybe I don't even need to do that. A group of survivors reach the city. They're tired. They'll need a place to rest, a bite to eat, and perhaps some medical attention. But they are ready to lend a hand. Yep, good. Good, good, good. Okay. I think we can overdrive tonight. Keep everybody roasty toasty. Put engineers in here. So, oh, that's neat. They actually connect the two buildings like that. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, so we should also extend that, which discontent, again, a little bit of a problem with the overtime work. But guys, overtime work should be kind of the least of our concerns, right? Actually, this one I don't need to run anymore. So that's good. Um, the coal, we're actually doing fine there. Right now, because we're in the overdrive, less. But outside of that, I think we're okay. We should get a bunch of food in here tonight as well. Which I'd be very happy to see. Cookhouse. Uh, do I want to run this later? I don't think so. Okay, people are getting sick. Understandable, right? Understandable. But it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I think because we're overdriving this, people are staying warm. It'd be great if they were inside, but it could be worse. Well, let's turn that off now. Okay, now the sicknesses are starting to build. Fair. It's fair. 
Um, we do have those heaters, so building out here isn't too bad. Let's build a road to connect this section. These are the hospitals. So that's four. I need to build at least one more. So let's do that, and that'll meet that requirement. Feeding all the hungry, I feel like that should happen here today. All these hunters should come back with food. And then that food's gonna get turned into soup. Hunter's gear research is done, so now they can return up to 18 food. What should I do next? Maybe I just go drawing boards here, man, with all that extra wood that we got. Then I could get into generator power upgrades, more scouts, some of these things. I do need the coal thumper and steelworks still. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do drawing boards. Okay, people are eating. The thing is, like, that number's gonna fluctuate a bit, right? Because basically, as soon as the food's coming in, it's getting turned into rations and eaten, eaten right away. The, oh, nice. There we go. Hope rises. Okay, cool. Can we get a little discontent drop, maybe, guys? What do, you, what do we think about that? Shelter promise fulfilled. Hope rises. Hell yeah. Okay, so now we need the public house. There can only be one. Doesn't look like it matters where it goes, maybe? Base heating level 2, which is the same as this, I believe. Building insulation 2. So... I guess I'll put it over here. Kind of in this... Industrial area. New book of laws to sign. God, this stuff's getting crazy. So the public house is signed and being built. And then we have... House of Pleasure. Hardworking deserve all the relief we can provide, and some of them yearn for the pleasures of the flesh. Prostitutes can be employed in the public house to further lower discontent. Hope will fall slightly. Or moonshine. Every meal slightly lowers discontent. Eating soup causes less discontent. I mean... I would love... I, look, I'll, I'm, I'm pro-sex worker. I'm, whatever you want to do is fine, okay? And this would be great for everybody. Everybody would love this, probably. But I think we're going to go moonshine. I feel like that's the smarter choice there. Listen, Could be wrong. Could be absolutely wrong. I missed a good tipple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now what I'm thinking is... From my understanding of how this works... When powered by the generator, these contraptions receive additional... Uh, create additional smaller heat zones around them. Each active unmodified one consumes three coal per hour. Um, these don't stack with current heat zones. For example, if I was to overlap them with these ones, it doesn't increase it by a certain amount. Right? So I'd want to place these to hit the, the grouping that's in the second tier, essentially. That's the way I understand that to be... to work. So I would want to place them, like, around here so they're kind of touching just this outer rim, and then anything around that would also get heated um, later on. I think that makes sense. So I'm looking to see where those little highlights are. So I need to be about there, and that's only going to hit those two. That'll hit three. But then, okay, so if I go here, then I have enough space to build more houses in this direction and do it kind of cleanly. Right? So if I did build another house here... Actually, I was incorrect. So if I build a tent, and then I build a steam hub, like that, I'm still hitting three, but I can build them like... Yeah, I think that's probably better. So let's do something like this. Okay. Um, the public house. <laughs> I'm going to put engineers there because I don't have other places to specifically put them. People are anxious to let off steam. Hope rises. Discontent dropping. Good. 
Um, getting some better food going would be nice. It would be quite nice. Yep. Uh, Wood-wise... Those things are already connected. So if I wanted to provide housing here, I could do it. Now, here I probably need a road, though. And maybe that's another place for a steam hub. Actually, probably not. Probably way over there. I guess we'll see when that one's built. Let's do this. Little crazy on the old wood. Found the sturdy shelter. Okay. Food rations, steam cores, and wood. Let's explore. The shelter's comfortable and well-equipped with emergency supplies. There's a notice posted on the heavy round door to all scientists. If you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means another city is out there. A signpost by the trail points in two directions. London, 1,934 miles, and home, 27 miles. So we found a steel bridge. Um, we actually have full rations here and a ton of wood and a steam core. Should I continue or should I take that back? It's remarkably snow free. Let's, let's keep them going for now. Okay, so that's now operating and we can set this to work. Like if this is heating an industrial zone, for example, we could match the hours. But now I have to consider, yeah. So that's that's a bit of an issue. That's a bit of an issue. Um, I might need to get into. Yeah, I'm gonna need coal mines, I think, because these are gonna get depleted pretty soon. And then I got this random one that I should put people out to work at. I'll put engineers out there as well. And let's overdrive this. People are going to build these houses. I'm going to pause them. Can now research tier one tech. Hell yeah, dude. Generator power upgrades. Okay. This allows us to raise the temperature in all heat zones by a level. It's not bad. If I take the range, though... Maybe I... Maybe I take the range first. If I look at our upcoming temperatures, we're going to drop again to the really cold temps. Right? We did go up a bit. Now we're going to drop again. And then we're going to go up a bit. So, yeah. Uh, that's an option. Or we look at some of these other things. Like... Oh, yeah. Coal mining. Oh, yeah. Okay. For some reason, I thought the coal thumper. But the, th the coal thumper just creates piles of coal around it. That we then have to go and gather. Um... But it says it forms a pile of up to 486 coal per workday, enough for two gathering posts. So I could do that. Or if we go here, this extracts up to 204 coal per standard workday from underground deposits. Interesting. Very interesting. And this uses the core. Charcoal kilns. Intense heat to char up to 70 wood, producing 170 coal. So we can burn wood for coal. Sawmill upgrades. Efficiency of all sawmills and steam sawmills. Wall drill. Steelworks. Hmm. I don't know what I should do. Maybe I don't go too big for my britches here, but then why did I get drawing boards? You know what I mean? I'm kind of trying to justify that. Okay, hold on. We have other options here. Heal the sick 10% faster. Bunk houses has better protection from the weather, but it costs a lot of steel. So a lot of the stuff in here is starting to cost steel. So, yeah. The hot house, few hearty crops can be grown here. 26 raw food per day. I like that. Maybe I should just get a steelworks thing going first, because I can see our steel needs are going to increase. So I should have taken that first, but hey, lesson learned, man, you know? Lesson learned. These are all the people going out to hunt. Look at discontents low. 
I'm running overdrive. We are getting a bit of a warning there. I'm going to turn this off. It's fine now. Actually, at this 30 degrees, I probably shouldn't have been running it at all, but hey, whatever. Now it's going to go down to, to 40, though, minus 40, which is, you know, where I'm from. I'm from Saskatchewan, man. I'm in Montreal now. Both of our weathers are intense, but Saskatchewan weather in the winter? Whoa. Like, that is something else. Temperature's falling. I like how the frost comes in, too. That's so cool. Bridge to Winter Home. A brass plaque on the bridge tower reads, built by the people of Winter Home in AD 1887. <gasps> the bridge is kept completely snow-free by working automaton. Automatons! Explore it. We stopped at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so at the huge automaton sweeping snow from the road. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it. So we could, we do need steel and cores, but these automatons can do work that people can do, I think. I don't know what the efficiency is, but we're, we're sending the automaton to the city. We reprogrammed it and sent it on its way as it appeared in the distance or disappeared in the distance, walking steadily toward our city, the first wisps of snow started to settle on the bridge. So, now we've got a large convoy or a weather station. Looks like we're being guided to go there. It's mostly... It's most likely a weather station set up by scientists from Winter Home. Okay. Um, let's do the large convoy first. It's on the way. And uh, at some point, I'm going to want to bring these guys back to drop off these goods. But I think for now, we're okay. Okay. Also, since it's daytime, let's uh, resume production on these houses. And that'll be enough t for everybody, actually. Yeah, that'll be enough for everybody. Okay, deserted bridge. Finding the bridge to Winter Home proved that we're on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? These are logical explanations to it all, or there are, but people are growing anxious. We'll find out in Winter Home. All right, hope drops. Okay, you know what? I, I, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. These people are going to be getting sick out there. But we do need to make sure that that coal is coming in. Right now, we're actually burning what we're making. So that's kind of intense. But like I said, we're going to go into the steelworks. Then we'll go into some some uh, coal thumpers and stuff. It's all, it's all good. We'll do the best that we can. Do I want to run these extended working hours here? Yes. We can, we can rise the discontent a little bit there. This is, the way I look at this is this is basically, that we can play with it, right? We can, we can use this as a resource, and we should, in my opinion. We should use it as a resource. It's cold here, so I'm going to turn this on. It's closed right now, but when it's open, people will stay warmer. Uh, the workshop, let's turn these heaters on. Medical posts are all on. That's good. The cookhouse, because it's minus 40, let's turn that on. But you'll see here. Oh, we're actually good now. I think it's just people, they haven't really kicked into um, working mode yet. Also looks like we have enough food coming in where there's work for the day. In the um, cookhouses, so that's cool. And by tonight, people are going to have homes to sleep in. I mean, I'm I'm pretty chapped. I'm, I'm pretty, like, happy chapped, if that's a thing. I do have a gravely ill it's saying, but... I don't see that registering yet. Steelworks researched. Okay. Start producing steel. So, extracts iron ore from deep deposits and processes it to deliver 34 steel per standard workday. So do these go... Okay, so these go on these here. Um, yeah, okay. So I'll build one. And that actually lined up very nicely. Or did it? Yeah, it looks like it did. Let's get that built. Everybody has homes. Very nice. Oh, we need to do research. So now... Now, 
I feel like, okay, the way that we're handling heat and stuff is fine for the moment. Maybe I should build another steam hub over here. Should probably build it right around there. Let's run a street out there. And then place this as far to the right as I can where we still get this building. Yeah, I'm satisfied. Then I don't need to go into that level two uh, heat upgrade just yet. However, what do I want next? I like that I could start growing some crops here. 26 raw food per day. That's an improvement over the hunter's hut. The way I see it. Until we get into here, flying hunters and hunters tactics, maybe. Healing the sick 10% faster is nice. The bunkhouse is nice, but we need steel. So maybe I'll just do this. Let's just take a little, a little uh, medical boost. And let her buck. Okay, I'm going to pause this. I don't want them going out there to work at night. And consumption's okay. Let's overdrive this again for nighttime. Explore the convoy area for survivors. Yep. Um, the workers who were riding in the convoy told us they were heading for the city of Winterhome. We were supposed to follow the signal from the beacon, but couldn't pick it up. They say we tried to follow a search pattern to find it, but we ran out of fuel. Okay. Because we have all these resources, I will escort them back to the city. Okay, let's bring them back. Everyone will be safe, hopefully. They'll get back a little bit faster. And that should be fine. Keep an eye on the sick here. We're at 20. Uh, in about five hours, we're going to clear out a whole bunch there. And then about half a day, that other batch is cleared. And then this one. It's so cool how, like, you can see the heat here, right? So there's no snow on it. But this one, just it's slightly less heated and there's all the snow on the top. Like, such a cool little touch. That's awesome. And yes, it's night, so people are getting sick. Now, when I overdrive this, the temperature in all heat zones rises by one. Does that impact the steam hubs, I wonder? So if I go here, heat zone plus two, if I turn this off, it does. Okay. Yeah, it does. Okay, neat. Let's turn that off. It's morning. Book of Laws, baby. What do we want? So we got the moonshine. Oh, House of Pleasure is just another thing we can have. Oh, we could do both. Yeah, right. I don't know why, why I thought I could do either or. I don't know why I thought that. But yeah, let's go uh, House of Pleasure. Hope will fall a bit, but I mean, whatever. Uh, I need to find some workers. So, the thing is... Okay, I can pull them out of here and put engineers into the cookhouse. Put workers there. And put one other engineer there. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Let's unpause this now. We're at minus 40. So, it's getting a little spicy out there. But, like, look, our city, it's, it's kind of getting there, guys. Like, things are happening. I, I don't feel too bad about this right now. I really don't. I don't know if I should just be, if I'm being overconfident or what, but no, I feel good. Coal pile was depleted. Okay, so that's some freed up workers then, right? Um, let's go to the house here and put workers in instead. And let's just look at our engineers. So that's all good. They are in the sawmill, which, you know, technically probably don't need to be. Uh, here, steelworks, we can do this. And we'll heat that. 
So now we're just making steel, right? Does it make it into a pile or is it just, that's it? They're just gonna make it. I think they're just gonna make it. Um, coal deposits, yeah, that's probably pretty important for us now. We do have this steel wreckage out here still. Maybe when it gets hotter, what I should do is just go and work that. Um, instead of sending people there, it's only 46, right? Or instead of building a, a outpost or what have you. I actually think we can just send them. Nice little mix of people out there. Alright. Medical post upgrade is done. Now, um, let's go to resources. Let's go to coal mining. Do I just skip this? Look, at some point I, I have to get it so I can get into steam coal thumper, I guess. Uh, do those underground deposits have a certain amount to them? Doesn't look like it. That that would just be continuous. So can I just get away with that? I guess I'm gonna try it. Right? I'm gonna try it. And then we'll get some steel from there. And when that's done, we will build some coal mining to set us up long term. And then at some point, maybe I'll even build our, uh, once we research it, we'll build the hot houses or whatever they're called out here. The, uh, yeah, I think they're called the hot houses where you can plant stuff and start replacing these with those. I think that's a decent plan. And yeah, I, we're going to go from there, but I'm pretty happy with where we're at, guys. So buckle up, but I don't want to jinx anything. Things are going well. I know that won't last forever, but I'm happy with the way that we're tinkering and, and handling business here. So six, yeah, low coal. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get it, but that'll change. Don't worry. Don't you worry. This is not extended. We're good. It's it's we're going to get there. I think we're good. Guys. Bye for now.